Their numbers are diminishing. The Jewish United Fund estimates about 6,000 Holocaust survivors remain in the Chicago area. One organization is using technology to better preserve their legacy. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross has more. They were all taken away. It is the chilling end of six million personal stories. They went into the cattle cars, taken to be destroyed. It is also the beginning of Sam Harris's story. I was born in Demblin, Poland. One he and others can watch. It comes out real. At only four years old, he was taken to a concentration camp in Poland. His parents and four siblings fatally gassed. A survivor of the Holocaust, one of an estimated 100,000 remaining. At night. I dream about it. He and a handful of survivors are now part of a hologram program. It took about 30 hours over a series of days, answering thousands of questions to help make Harris's story more interactive, poignant, and permanent. What we went through. Audiences at the Illinois Holocaust Museum can ask questions to a moderator. Can the Holocaust happen again? Harris's digital double provides an answer. Human beings could make it happen again. Unfortunately, in World War II, there were too many bystanders. Shoshana Buchholz Miller takes us through an area urging patrons to take a stand when faced with injustices, including equal rights to equal pay, with an interactive way to get involved. A tip sheet to host my own fundraiser, and I can email it to myself. If we do not learn from the past, how can we make sure it doesn't happen in the future? Was it worth it? More. More than worth it. It was probably the best gift I could give. Harris's gift that helped with the hologram program began taping back in 2015. The full exhibit, Take a Stand, opens to the public on Sunday in Skokie. Robin Erica. We've seen holograms for concerts and other things, but it seems pretty groundbreaking to see it for a museum on such a serious and needed topic. Uh, absolutely, that's the case, and we could see other museums following suit in the future. Okay, thank you, Jeremy. Coming up, the Illinois House.